Hey you guys, namaste, this is me again, Diara. So today I'm doing another love reading. I just found out that it's been a while that I've done a love reading where it's only about love, so it doesn't matter if you are asking for a specific person, a crush, a love interest, your ex, your boyfriend, your husband, I don't know what, or maybe it is for some of you, um, like you have nobody really in your mind or in your heart, you are like, you know, completely open right now at the moment, and yeah, you just want to know what's going, um, what's going on, where you're at, and uh, what's about to happen in the nearest future. This is a timeless reading. I prepared already three piles for you guys and as you see they do look more or less completely the same I'm not using any kind of you know like um, stuff what you can choose from you know like crystals or feathers or I don't know what so it's just like you know I want you to use your intuition and this is basically the same uh, how I am reading the cards. I'm using my intuition. I mean, of course, there are a lot of books out there how to do tarot, how to do, you know, oracle cards. But I think um, the difference between all of those readers out there, whether it's in the YouTube world or in the real world, um, is, you know, like, um, yeah, the we all have a different approach. We all have different kind of informations that are coming up. Uh, while we are reading the cards and this is um, all for your highest interest and when I'm saying this is a timeless reading this is like whenever you find the reading you are uh, yeah it will fit there is some kind of message in it uh, that will help you that will give you some guidance okay and also it shows you how I am working if you want a personal reading feel free to contact me you will find all the information down in the description box and thanks to all who already trusted in me and who already purchased readings from me uh, thank you very much thank you also for your feedback I really appreciate it okay so let's go on number one number two number three this is number one this is pile number two this is pile number three choose one pile if you need more time press the pause button think about the person you are having in your head or if you don't have anybody in your head right now as I said before this reading will give you just like you know some important information um, good let's start with pile number one what energy do we have oh, 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 oh okay so you are definitely thinking about somebody and this is uh, not such a good situation that you are in pile number one because I do have um, the orbiting card here. Um, somebody is watching you, uh, like you're checking out your social media accounts and stuff, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, I don't know. He's not maybe really talking to you at all, but he is checking you out. This is for sure with the orbiting card. But we are having the cards here with lyings. Somebody is not really uh, telling you the truth. Somebody is uh, having secrets from you. Maybe somebody, maybe we are talking for some of you, pile number one, of third part situations. You've been involved with somebody, whether this is a man or a woman, this is, uh, you know, not gender specific here, um, who is already taken by somebody else. So this could be also like, um, for you, uh, a good possibility and opportunity to think about why you do choose men or women who are already taken by somebody else. I mean... If you know my readings, sometimes I call those persons traffic light, men or women, you know, like red. They are not green. They are not available. It's not like you have a go from the universe. They are not even like yellow or orange. They are red. And if you are involved in such of a situation, I mean, no wonder that you can't move forward, you know, due to all this, you know, like betrayal and lying and not being honest and having secrets and not showing the real face to somebody else. It could be also you that you are not showing somebody else your true face and your truth. Maybe you are not, um, maybe you do not dare to tell the truth. This could also be the case. And we have to do with the inner child. You know, this has to do 
with your past definitely because you've been through something um, during your childhood I mean we all uh, maybe you lost a parent through to an accident or illness um, maybe your parents got divorced when you were younger and that did something to you you know this is maybe you uh, developed uh, a specific habit or pattern And this is why you are in the situation you are right now. And maybe this is not even the first time that you find yourself in such a situation because maybe you are always pulling in people who are taken by somebody else or who are, I don't know what, it could be everything, workaholics, maybe people that are beating you up, you know, like abusing you, maybe people who are betraying you, maybe people who have huge financial problems, maybe you always pull in people, again, whether these are men or women, uh, or even friends also, who have no job, who have huge problems, you know, like always financial problems, never enough money, you know, stuff like that. So inner child and lyings. I mean, the orbiting card, it sounds good in the first place, I think. If you hear me saying, you know, he's checking you out in the internet and stuff, you think like he's doing it because um, he likes you and he loves you. But with those cards around, I'm getting not such a healthy energy, to be very honest with you. And I'm not saying this because I want to tell you something bad here, you know, like in order to trying to heal you, because this is not my job. My job is not to heal you or to tell you bad stuff. Uh, so you can move, like, you know, forcing you to move forward. I think my job is just reading the cards <laughs> and that's it. You know, I'm neutral. I I, uh, I don't know you. I don't know, know the other party. And I'm reading here for a lot of people, you know. So every situation is different. But for you, pile number one so far, with those three cards here, um, I think this is not a real healthy and and good situation that you are stuck in right now and maybe this is why you are searching you know with those open general readings here in the internet for answers uh, so let's see what else do they want to share with you today is there anything else i should tell you pile number one when it comes to love this is your love reading any message any advice what does the spiritual world share with you today with this reading here pile number one um yeah before you step into this relationship with this guy or this woman um they want you to get to know each other more this is very important before you make any heavy decisions here before you really like fall in love and leave everything behind and stuff they want you to first of all get to know each other we have the right chemistry here but still i mean with the deception card it, i mean what should i tell you somebody is not showing his true face to the other one this is um the case you know you are not really open you are not talking not communicating you know um I mean, are you sharing your secrets? Are you sharing all your wounds with each other? Are you telling the other party what you really want, what you expect, what your dreams are? Or are you trying to, to, to hide, to, to protect yourself? Are you wearing like a protective shield, you know? Um, like a knight, you know, all those tarot cards representing those knights, you know, like someone who's wearing an aimer. Uh, and this is maybe you or him. Maybe he is coming straight from another relationship. Maybe uh, he got hurt a lot in the past or you uh, was hurt. You were hurt in the past. Um, and, and now you are like, you know, very cautious here. Uh, but they want you to stay open. I mean... They want you to stay open because the chemistry is not bad. I mean, these are good cards, better than the first ones at least. So let's see what else is coming. It's getting interesting here, pile number two, uh, pile number one, sorry. What else? Yeah, they want you to trust. We have the trust card here and they want you to let go of your ex. So maybe this is this lying uh, energy, you know, not being really you know like honest with the other party because maybe you still think about your ex you have to let go of your ex um for those who are not having 
someone in your head right now. You know, for those that I mentioned before, like some of you are listening to this reading because you have a crush, you have a love interest, you have like kind of an on and off relationship going on, maybe even for years already. You are waiting for, you know, messages, phone calls and stuff. But some of you, maybe you are single for a longer time and what about you? So I think there have been some lyings in the past and this inner child um, topic here and this orbiting. Yeah, maybe you um, try to find the perfect match in the internet, you know, like with all those... Um, I don't know apps and what 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 not. Uh, I'm living in Germany, so I don't know the the English uh, companies that are offering offering those online datings. But um, I mean, you know what I mean, you know, like online dating and you know. But this is not real energy. This is not 3D. And what you want is the real chemistry. And what you want is trusting and really getting to know somebody else you know especially if you are single especially if you are waiting already for a longer time so first of all before you can uh, get to know somebody else before you can have the right chemistry between you and somebody else you have to let go of your ex I mean believe it or not maybe you think like oh come on I'm not thinking about him or her already for years I'm not uh, attached to him or her anymore but still I mean this card does not come out for nothing so obviously you are still thinking about your ex every now and then I mean I'm not talking about like 24 7 but there is something still going on there is like kind of you know like curds or uh, bond uh, kind of a uh, you know like you have to cut the curds let me say it like this you know you have to cut the curds between you and your ex you know maybe there are still some strings attached and they they want you to clear the energy you know it's time now to let go of your ex I mean either way whether you are single or you are in a you know like crush love interest situation if you want the situation to move forward, if you want something real to happen, if you want to get to know the other party, you have to let go the ex first of all. Otherwise, nothing is going to happen at all. Okay, so with all those cards here, let's see um, one final advice, one last card for those who picked pile number one. One last message. I mean, I hope you could find some guidance already. Uh, I'm talking about pile number one like for 10 minutes already. So I hope you could resonate. I mean, this is a general reading. I'm always saying that. I'm, I think this is my duty to say that. If you want something more specific, if you want something more precise, you can contact me just in order to find out how to get a personal reading. I'm charging 15 euros right now. It's 15, not 50. So uh, quite a good price, I think, compared to other readers. Um, yeah, oh, it looks so beautiful. You know what your final message is? It's about a new life, a rebirth, a restart, and it's about soulmates. Wow. I think I will just leave that here. And I want you to use your intuition. If you are having, you know, like this on and off energy with somebody, you think this is your soulmate or your 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 twin flame and stuff, um, feel free to listen to what I've said before, you know, this 10 minutes on and on and try to also listen with your heart, try to listen with your intuition, whether or not you can start uh, all new with this person. And for those who are single, I mean, this is good news for you because you will have this new life. You will meet your soulmate. It's, it's going to happen for you, for sure. I have no time card here included in the spread. So um, time will tell. I mean, what's meant to be will, will be. I'm always saying this because things, they have to develop um, and to work out organically. We can't force somebody else to love us. We can't force somebody to, to leave uh, another party or stuff. Um, things will happen in the perfect timing. 
you know this is divine guidance and a new life energy is coming you can really look forward to it and maybe you do already feel it pile number one your soulmate you are about to meet your soulmate once you let go of all the old uh, and used energy you know with your ex and stuff okay so i hope this helped um and i will move on now to pile number two pile number two your love message right now love illusions and emptiness i think pile number two you are looking for love already for a longer time whether you are single or whether you are involved right now in a specific uh, relationship with somebody you are looking for love i mean what you want is love you want love i mean we all want love don't we and but you you um especially and you feel a big emptiness right now you are you feel tired you feel exhausted you feel that nothing makes sense anymore maybe just um how do you say that maybe you've just left somebody behind you uh you had a crush on someone but it turns out that he is not the right one for you you know stuff like that i i recently experienced that myself to be honest with you so i take a little bit of this message for myself as well and now you feel like kind of an emptiness because you don't know is there somebody else going to appear in my life will i ever find love you know we have the illusion we have the emptiness so this is for me very clear you want love but right now in your life, you are not experience, experiencing this at all. I mean, really like not at all. This is kind of a love burnout here, you know. So very important for us to, to pull out some more cards for you. What else is the universe willing to share with you? Pile number two. I think most of you who pick pile number two, you are single. I mean, could be for some of you that you are involved, as I said before, in those, you know, like three party situations or, you know, like those uh, never ending on and off stories. But most of you, pile number two, I think you just came out of big illusion. You thought like somebody could be the one, but you found out recently that he isn't. Okay. And this is where you're at right now. You are ready. But you are ready for love. As I said, you want love badly. You, you really want it. You are ready. You feel ready. And you are ready. This is your confirmation. It's not about you. It was about the other party. It was simply not meant to be. I mean, it's sometimes... I mean, really... It is easy as that, believe it or not, but uh, sometimes it's just like that. Sometimes people do not match together and it's not because you are bad or he is bad. No, um, it was just not meant to be. Do you, are you hearing that? I mean, sometimes people are creating such a drama around it and they're spending money, uh, you know, for card readers telling them the opposite, you know, like, yes, he is the one, he's the soulmate, he's your twin flame and stuff. But what if this is not true? I mean, have you ever thought about this? What if he or she is simply not the one? I mean, save all the money, save all the energy, be open for another truth. I mean, even, you know, like Freud and, and you know, this big um, psychologist from the past and even people like Einstein, they said all the same. Everything is relative and there is not one single truth. There are a lot of truth out there and I'm, I do not know whether I may, can make myself clear here because, you know, like I'm not a native speaker and stuff, but I really mean it. There is not, you know, one single person like the perfect match and all the others are like failures. No, this is not the case. But anyways, you are ready for love and in the next month, yes, I'm so happy for you because as I said, I mean, this is maybe even my pile in the next month you will experience something beautiful you know like the stairways here stepping up like kind of a promotion on a love level this is what you can experience stepping into the light stepping into the light stepping up moving forward this is for you pile number two and i mean very i'm, I'm very honest with you right now you know what i could stop this reading here I mean, really, because this is so clear, this is so beautiful, and I don't want to destroy the energy, but um, since I have did a quite long pile number one, because there was simply a lot to say, um, I will pull out, I'm willing to pull out some more cards for you, pile number two. They want you to be flexible. 
as I said already, like, you know, believe that there could be somebody else out there. Even you are disappointed, even you feel tired, even you may don't want to think about love anymore at all. I mean, there is a reason why you choose this reading. They want you to be flexible. You see this woman doing this acrobatic stuff like some advanced yoga pose, like the scorpion or what this should be, I don't know. And all the this green nature around it, which stands for fertility and, and harvesting, you know. You are about to experience... Um, the, you know, um, you, you made a lot of effort and this is now like the fruit of your effort, which is in the next months, which you can experience. And they want you to use the fantasy, which is kind of, you know, almost the same what I said before, you know, like be open that there could be somebody else. I can only repeat myself. And this is maybe, you know, uh, the spirit's way to tell me to stop this pile now, because as I said before, sometimes it can be that easy. Yeah, it is like that. Sometimes it can be that easy. In the next months, you will be ready for a real love. No illusions anymore. No emptiness anymore. No betrayal. No on and off anymore. No waiting. No hoping for nothing. No fairy tales. You are ready and you will experience true love. Pile number two. This is it. And uh, I'm wishing you all the best. I'm going to stop this pile now. I know it was short, but uh, I mean, well, it was good. So um, better a short reading, which is absolutely beautiful, than a longer one, uh, which is maybe not that good. And I'm sitting here trying to explain, you know, why things are the way they are. I mean, sometimes it's, diff sometimes it's complicated and sometimes it's, it's very easy. You know, and in this case, pile number two, it was really like, you know, that easy. You are maybe now very, you know, like feeling burned out because all that you have been through, but you will experience love. You will find somebody who's going to tell you, I love you and I really mean it. And you don't have to change. I love you exactly the way you are. I'm talking about unconditional love. You know, not love while somebody is wanting you to do something or just saying he loves you in order to get your body or what. Uh, no, somebody is going to say, I love you. And you will find this someone within the next months. It's very rarely that you get a time card. This really, this happens not so often. So you are the lucky one, pile number two. Congratulations. Wishing you all the best. Uh, and yeah, this is it. This is it, pile number two. Let's move on. Pile number three, pile number three. Completely new spread, completely new energy. S new people who picked pile number three. What's going on? Your life message. Discussions, reconciliations, and receiving news. Okay, so... With pile number two, I was talking to single people, you know, people who are free, who are open, who do not have a crush at all, who do not have, you know, an ex-partner they were asking for. And for you, this is kind of the opposite. Um, you are waiting for the reconciliation with somebody and I can tell you this is going to happen. Yeah, you will get news, you will get messages. Text messages, phone calls, I don't know what. Somebody is standing in front of your door right away telling you, you know what, I, I was thinking about you the, the, the other day and now I just said, okay, you know what, I'm, I'm trying to, to, to get you. I'm trying to, you know, to meet you up and to talk to you and uh, to have that conversation about everything that's happened in the past. And this is going to happen, pile number three. Yeah, reconciliation. You will get messages. Maybe you are waiting for those messages already for a longer time. You will receive them. And all those, you know, like shouting and discussing and, and arguing and fighting and, and, you know, like what, talking about stuff and saying the other one is wrong and I'm right and, and stuff. This is uh, the past. I'm seeing this like past, present, future. You know, this is how I'm seeing this spread. I have not said that to the other ones, by the way, just for you to know. Uh, but in this case, I'm hearing that this was the past, you know, like all those fightings and discussions and arguings between you guys. And now it's time for a reconciliation. This is about to happening to happen soon, maybe sooner than you think. 
somebody is already preparing himself to send you this message to ask you out again and to say you know what i'm sorry this is what you can expect pile number three this is your love message let's pull out some of the angel of romans cards let me just shuffle the cards profoundly just give me a moment maybe like 30 seconds i'm not talking uh, while i'm shuffling just give me that moment pile number three is there anything else what should i tell you What's your love message right now? Okay. Two fell out already. Number three. Uh, there are children involved. I don't know why, but I'm getting this child children cards a lot these days. Uh, maybe this is for some of you um, because there are kids involved. Maybe your partner has children already. Maybe you are having children. Uh, this is one scenario. I, I just want to point out that this card could also have been called like playfulness card. You know, they want you to be a little bit more like, you know, childish in a good way. Not naive, but, you know, like playfulness. You know, they want you to not take everything so serious. And uh, yeah, so it could be either this or the other way. Depend, you know, I'm reading here for a lot of people. So just take what makes sense to you because you know whether you have child uh, or your partner has and if they are involved. And maybe those children, they make the situation between you guys a little bit more complicated than you would like it to be. You know, because like if there are children, you know, um, yeah, I mean, no wonder he has to talk with his ex-wife or his ex-girlfriend every now and then. I mean, he can't avoid it if he has children with her. You know what I mean? So you have to um, trust that this is not because he wants something from his ex-wife. This is just because of the children. You know, he has to. And the same for you. If, I mean, if you have children already from somebody else, um, I mean, of course, you also, you have to talk every now and then about stuff, you know, school and education and whatnot, and maybe sometimes the children, they get ill and so, I mean, this will be the situation for the rest of your life, and they want you to know that, you know, I mean, if you hate the ex-wife of your, of your partner, or if you hate your ex-boyfriend, the one you are having a child with, I mean, you have to figure out a way how you can deal with it. Because it's not only your children, it's them as well. You know what I mean? It's about finances and career also. So, hmm. And it's about attraction. So maybe you guys, you know each other from work. Maybe you are colleagues, maybe, um, maybe not. Maybe for some of you, you have some kind of financial problems right now or a lot to do when it comes to your job. And maybe, you know, all those discussions and argumentations, they've been because of this situation here. They've been because of uh, all those finances and, and career stuff going on, you know. Um, and uh, yeah, but as I said, this is the past. You can get over the situation because there is such a big attraction between you guys. As I said, the reconciliation is going to happen for you, pile number three. You can really rely on it. And I'm, I'm very happy if you give me feedback, if you tell me, you know what, um, what's going on. And uh, maybe, I mean, you can always also tell me like, you know what, it was not right. Uh, there was no reconciliation because I mean, once again, I have to mention it. This is an open reading. This is a general reading. It may not resonate with everybody. Um, so let's, let me pull out one final card for you, pile number three. This is a very beautiful spread so far for you with the reconciliation and this receiving a message and attraction. So I think you don't have so much to worry about actually. So what else, what else, what else? Drama in reverse. Yeah. So again, you know what I said here with the first card from the past, you've been through a lot of drama, sleepless nights, insomnia, doubts, worries and stuff maybe due to you know money or career stuff but this is a love reading so i think maybe you know like working a lot and having money problems 
has been um, affecting your love life. But since this card came out in reverse, you will make it out of the drama. And this is maybe the most beautiful card that could appear for you, pile number three. Um, yeah, you will make it out of the drama. No more sleepless nights, no more fightings, no more discussions. As I said, so this is all like, you know, confirming. One card is confirming like kind of the other. Do you see that? I mean, I love it if cards are fitting so well into each other because it makes the reading very easy for me. And I think also the understanding of the reading easy for you as well, you know, because um, yeah, it is very obvious here, um, the message is very obvious here. You've been through a lot, there was a lot of drama, uh, maybe even with kids and involved and the whole program, you know, but you can experience the reconciliation. Everything is going to turn out uh, to the better, okay? Yeah, belief. Wow, this is it. Pile number three, this is my last word. <laughs> okay, belief. Belief Everything is for your highest good, for your highest interest, and not only for your highest interest, also for everybody who is involved in the situation, whether this are children, whether this is another party, obviously, you know, your ex, his ex, her ex, you know, like, um, yeah, you know what I said, uh, feel free to listen again and again to this reading because, um, First of all, we listen to something and we we think we understand. But my experience is if you listen like, you know, another time and maybe even a third or a fourth time to a reading, you hear more. It's like the more you listen to it, the more you hear. Okay, so maybe you listen to this reading today and you hear some stuff. And if you listen to this reading, you know, like a month from today, you hear other information that are also important to you do you know what i mean so um yeah i hope it helped i'm coming to an end now because this was very easy to read very clear and i'm wishing you all the best i mean with the reconciliation card and the message card um i think you don't have to worry about um stuff anymore and i think this is good news for you pile number three so uh, i think you deserved it maybe you've been through such a big drama that really it was time now it was time for you to receive good messages and to step out of this drama and this trauma even okay you know what i mean so you will receive those messages you will receive good news believe in it believe in it okay so this is it. I'm wishing you all the best. I'm wishing you a good night, a good day, a good weekend whenever you hear this reading. And I'm saying goodbye. Namaste.